Good morning. It's the Wake the Bleep Up Morning Show with T.O. Let's wake up, little Susie. Let's wake up. Woohoo! Listen, it's so simple. So incredibly, beautifully, smilingly simple. Have only one idea. Love. Truth. Light, peace, happiness. Have only one idea. Now that wasn't all, all different ideas. They all come from the love, man. All those things, the joy, the happiness, it all comes from the infinite love, I'm telling you. So have only one idea and leave all the others alone. Just leave them alone. When you got too many ideas going on in that little noggin of yours, life can get very dicey and very complicated and you lose so much energy, and in losing energy, you lose the potential for your happiness, you lose the potential for growing the love, and you know, and it's not a pretty scene. Oh, you will survive, no question. You live for forever. It's just a matter of degrees of you wanting to be happy in this mortal form, in this, in this duality world, or not, right? So keep it simple. Have just one idea, that happiness, that love, that peace, and leave all the others alone. Because it's not between you and the other ideas. <laughs> it's not between you and others. It's not between you and how you feel. It's not between you and the circumstances in your life. It's not even between you and your karma, man. It's between you and the one idea, between you and love, one-on-one. One-on-one. I'm telling you. This is the secret of the secrets. This is the mysteries of the mysteries. I'm telling you right here and now. It's just between you and the one beloved. Heart to heart, soul to soul, eye to eye, baby. Full attention to full attention, huh? And I'll tell you, another way I say this is never leave the hug. Never leave the hug of the oneness. Of the oneness. Never leave the hug. That is called the path of self-discipline, meaning that I'm never going to leave this hug of love and this oneness that I'm in and this one idea that I stand for, that stands for me, that stands for everything because it's just the one. It's just the one beloved in everyone. It's just the one beloved in everything. It's just the one beloved everywhere, right? So have just one idea. And make that your goal. Make that make that the number one thing for the holidays, right? Make that number one thing for your New Year's resolution. Make that number one for every breath that you breathe today as you walk about these shores of distraction. <laughs> and these earth shores, man. Of distraction. Of, of infinite possibilities and ideas and options for you to think today. But even then, that's not freedom because your mind is stuck on thinking a certain way and behaving and knee-jerk reacting a certain way, right? So you think that you have, it's called whim freedom. Whim. It's just a whim, you know? You think you're, you're free, but you're really in prison in your own stuff, in your own, in your own creations, right? In your own limited creations. Now we're talking about an unlimited one idea. Not even a possibility, but a total reality because that's the only reality right here and now. Yeah, luscious day. What an amazing possibility we have unfolding in this heartbeat right here, right now. In this luscious consciousness that we are just bathing in bathing in the love stream consciousness, the consciousness. Everyone has an outer cause because of some other idea that they chose over, over this one-on-one -on -one with the invisible, intangible, you know, formless, infinite consciousness that we, we can cultivate together, the one-on-one. -on -one. And everyone has an outer physical cause, Mo mostly, you know, an, an outer idea about this world and how you're going to operate and control things. And, you know, man, let go of the outcomes. <laughs> let it go. Let them go. The moment you, that, you, that you do something, let it go. Let it go. Burn it up, man. And then if you were out of the hug, I would go running into that divine love hug right away. Let go of the outcome and run like hell into the arms of love, right? So you don't go looking back and seeing what happened. 
and why did it happen? And that, that thing that you still want, you know, to have an outcome for. No, 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 burn the boats. Burn it up as soon as it happens and then run into the arms. <laughs> and then, and then, you know, that love will take over the shop and, it, and you and that love will be streaming live, streaming love, right? And then once you're streaming love everywhere to everyone, now it's really one-on-one -on -one time, man, in the heart. You're my first love since the beginning of time. You know, you got one love, first love. And then all this second nature stuff, man, everyone says it's my human nature, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what I do. Otherwise, Source wouldn't have given me a second nature. Well, there is an argument to that. There is a higher wisdom to that. You also were given the first nature first. <laughs> the second nature come after that, after your first nature. So we're talking about putting first things first. You're my first love since the beginning of time. You're the only one, you've always been mine. You're my first love, now I'm first in line to give you all I am. Because you're my first love. You're my first love since the beginning of time. You're the only one, you've always been mine. You're my first love, now I'm first in line to give you all I am. Because you're my first love, you're my first love since the beginning of time. You're the only one, you've always been mine. You're my first love, now I'm first in line to give you all I am. You've always been mine. You're my first love. Now I'm first in line to give you all I am. Because you're my first love. One more round, okay? You're my first love since the beginning of time. You're the only one. You've always been mine. You're my first love. Now I'm first in Because you're my first love, because you're my first love, now I'm first in line to give you all I am, to give you all I am, because you're Don't you love to dare to be different? Don't, don't you love to go against the grain? Even the grain of what, you, what your humanly second nature wants you to do. I mean, probably most especially that. And don't you feel something that just kicks in when you decide to step in to your true nature, to this true eternal love romance that you have with the infinite? Isn't there something about that? And then you start making investments, you know? Then you start thinking of, of the long-term plan, man. You start thinking of your happiness plan. You talk, start talking about the afterlife plan. You start really, really, you know, operating from this place of wisdom. Of wisdom. Because wisdom is the anticipation of consequences, you see? So when you anticipate the consequences of how things are going so far, darling, how's it going, huh? How you feeling today, huh? Eh? Are you happier today? Huh? Are you more in love today? Huh? Is there anything different? What are you daring to be different about today? Right? When you start looking at the consequences of just having a, a regular day, a second nature day, a kickback day, let your hair down, and not be your best self for your loved ones, but probably the, the self that ain't working really well to keep the, the, the relationship really sparking, 
with, with a drive, you know, soul-driven drive, you know, like to, moving together in the same direction to, to wake the bleep up. This is the wake the morning bleep up. <laughs> no, it's the wake the bleep up morning show with T.O. Right? And so there, there we have it. There we have it right there, man. So we're going to invest now. We're going to invest in going against the grain. We're going to invest in putting up aside for now. Tomorrow we can have that pleasure. Tomorrow we can let ourselves down again. But today, no. No. And then when tomorrow comes, you say, no, we're going to put that off till tomorrow. Right? You just keep putting it off till tomorrow, the things that you really don't want to invest in today, you see. And the things that you need to invest in today, if you don't invest in, in them today, there's not going to be tomorrow's investment, see? It's got to happen today, because tomorrow will never come. Isn't that an interesting switch around? Huh? So we invest, we invest in this one idea, just one-on-one -on -one with the one today, you see? Kind of quiet moments, candlestick moments, a little, I love you. I love you from the heart that you really sincere, and you say it to the one-on-one, -on -one, just you and the one beloved. I'm telling you, that's the key. That's the power. That's the, that's the, the light that's going to just brighten up your path today like crazy. It's going to give you a new feeling, baby doll. It's going to give you a whole new outlook. It's going to give you, man, just so much trust and hope that you're on the right track. And I'm telling you, by making investments like this, putting off the thing that ain't going to make you happy for the potential of the thing that is going to make you happy as you stay true to that, non-negotiably, on track, on fire, unconditionally resolved, you know, to be a one-on-one -on -one relationship with the infinite one, you're going to get huge dividends coming back to you. Huge. Just let go of when. <laughs> let go of the outcomes of how things seem to be going in the meantime because this may take years. This may take quite a journey, you know, to start receiving the dividends. But don't be thinking you're not getting the dividends because those dividends are working behind the scenes to remove mountains of your obstacles, mountains of your karma that you don't see because you've got mountain ranges of karma preventing you from being one-on-one -on -one with the one. You see what I'm saying? So no, those dividends are coming back right now, baby. You know, one, I love you. One, I love you. And that dark bird is just going to fly away. Will that day, oh, come to me, love, when saying I love you? Will that day, oh, come to me, love, when saying I love you? My heart cracks open. The 
relationship with love, unbroken union, unbroken joy, unbroken happiness, unbroken dreams, dreams of truth that will absolutely wake you up. And this is the purpose of this morning's show with Tiom, to wake the bleep up. Quit having all these other ideas and focus, O oh immortal soul, on the one beloved. It's only between you and love. So save your energy, you know. Save your coins that you're gambling on mortal life and mortal pleasures and mortal controlling of your life. And then invest all of those in the golden coin for one golden moment of an I love you. 
And that day will come right now in this moment. And darkness will, will disappear. It will fly away like a dark bird. Steal, steal, steal away like a dark bird flies away. And here comes the light. Here comes the light. Here comes the love, here comes the love, yeah, 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 okay. Well, we got the Clark and, and Tiom show this morning, apropos for sure. I just love it, I love it to my core, and my core loves it. Huh? Good morning, I love the reminder the day is filled with unlimited possibilities, one moment at a time. Well, we make a difference between the unlimited possibilities, Clark, of having many ideas, many human ideas, and even options today, and we have just one possibility, quite frankly, and that is to be unlimitedly one-on-one -on -one with the one. How's that? One-on-one huh? -on -one with the love today. Burning up everything we do right after we do it, right after we think it, we burn it so that we are releasing all the outcome, so that energy that we put into something can be purified, even if it wasn't pure when we did something, right? We purify it by burning up the outcome for it and releasing the doves, as you say. Releasing the doves. We release the outcome back to the universe, you know? And then our second step is to run like crazy into the arms of love, right? Because we have a saying here, never ever leave the hug. Never, ever leave the hug. Never leave the love embrace, man. We can't really, but we can make believe that we are. And in making believe that we're out of love, that we're out of happiness, that we're in a mood, that life is, is sucks and all that stuff, that's our own creations, you know. Those are ego creations. And they don't make you very happy. So we're going to go running into the hug, the divine embrace, and we're never going to leave. That's the discipline of life right there. And then, you know, it's like a little kid that's just really, really clingy to the mom, you know, and it's hanging on to her leg. That little kid, you know, could be up to two, three, four, even five, six, seven, you know. It depends. It's a very wise policy to hang on to that leg of the mother, right? And then you just hug on because you know that mother loves you. And you let the mama, the mama bear, deal with the situation. Now that's a practice to go all your adult life with. <laughs> the girl I love doesn't love. Well, listen, King, this is about letting go of that outcome, my friend King, and then turning to listening to what, <clears throat> excuse me, we're talking about this morning, bro. Because if you keep questioning why she doesn't love you, that's going to continue, you know? <laughs> You can't, you can't solve that problem by continually affirming the negative of it, my friend. So we burn it. Burn that idea, release the outcome of anything. Because nobody wants to, to be in a relationship if someone is, is wanting that person to be a certain way. Release it. Release the doves. Release, the, the release it. And then if love is meant to be with you, it will come back to you. That's what we're practicing. And run into the divine hug, man. This physical world and physical people and humans, they ain't going to do it for you in any way. So just let, this, is, this is a higher take. This is a, this is a higher perspective, my brother. This is about you know, living from a soul perspective. This is like living from a, a love that's in union with the divine love perspective anyway. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, we're talking about a freedom here. We're talking about a freedom from our little needs and our wants and this didn't go this way and she doesn't love me and he doesn't love me and it's not. What is that, man? That is something that we're going to burn and burn and burn and burn. It's one of our love practices. You know what I'm saying? Ha, ha, ha. And then we have a heart's desire that's burning for the real deal. My heart's desire burns like a fire every minute, every day. My heart's desire burns like a fire every minute, every day. My heart's desire burns like a fire every minute, every day. 
my heart's desire burns like a fire every minute, every day. My soul and burns, I am loved. My heart, it sings, I love you. My soul and burns, I am loved. My heart, I love you. I love you. My heart's desire burns like a fire every minute, every day. My heart's desire burns like a fire. It sings, I love you. My soul and burns, I am love. My heart, it sings, I love you. Then we just kind of dance. I love you. I love Well, you know, if this is a cup of tea, take a sip. If it ain't a cup of tea that you can take a sip with, this possibility of just turning to love and then turning to love and turning to love and handing over all your human wants and needs and fetishes and the way that you think life is going, man, this is a burn job. This has got to be torch. We got a love blast. We got a love blast, man. We got a love blast. I'm having a love blast. Are you, could you, would you too? I'm asking you. I'm having a love blast. Are you, could you, would you too? All right, the only one I have about it is my dog. All right, King, we'll put you in the love corner. We love you, brother. I'm having a love blast. Are you, could you, would you do? I'm having a love blast. Are you, could you, would you do? Come on, baby, let's love blast.
in this present moment of I love you, right? You, 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 you start to empower yourself. You start to take the energies that wanted you to be on another idea. Any other idea but love ain't going ain't gonna to be the real deal for you, baby. So there's just one reality. There's one focus. There's one love, right? There's one lover. There's one idea and one idea alone. Leave the rest alone. There's just one idea, but you gain so much energy. And not only that, but it's just wiping out obstacles in your path as we focus right here and now on that one, on one with the one beloved right now. And I mean, there's nothing else. That one beloved, you can come and share your problems and talk and that's awesome. That, that starts to get you closer into a relationship with that invisible one beloved, right? But eventually you just go there and throw yourself into those divine arms or you just go there and receive love and give love, receive love and give love, and give, receive love and give love, man, right? That's what you do. Yeah, I know, right, Ajay? Huh, buddy? Right? I know. Ajayo and Clark, OMG. And we have a few viewers at home that like to hang on the balcony seats, you know? We have Val and we have Lulu usually and a few other viewers at home just to see if, if this is going to, you know, be their cup of tea or not, right? Now, man, I'm telling you, there's only one tea bag to buy and that's the love tea bag, man. There's only one kind of food to buy and that's the love food. Do you see when you go shopping, when you do anything, there's only one thing to have in your heart, darling, right? The love. Oh man, I forget now. So I, the love is our pole star. You are my pole star. I follow you so near and far. Love is my pole star. I follow love so near and far. I Love you, love me too. I love you, and you love me too. Love is my own star. I follow love so near and far. Love is my own star. I follow love so near and far. I, I love you. You love me too. I, I love you. And you love me too. I'll keep my love and love in you. You keep my love and love in me. I'll keep Love and love in me. I 
this morning and always one-on-one -on -one with love not between you and someone else not between you and another human that comes second baby we're talking first things first because if you put first things first everything else will be added onto you let's shake on that one it's the best deal in the universe man put love first and everything else will come to you in a Abundance. Now that is a deal. How can anyone resist that deal? Not only does love come, but more love come back to you, but more happiness comes back to you, more abundance, more health, more friendship, more everything that's positive and beautiful. Once you get addicted to the positive and beautiful, my dear, you'll never turn to the dark again. You might go back and slip back into it for a moment, but the comparison, once you get, we've got to get the comparison. We've got to get the higher taste of love. The higher taste of love is bitter in the beginning because your senses are all saturated with this kind of gross sensation, sensory experience, right? And so it's bitter. But the, 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 the gross experience is sweet in the beginning, but it's bitter for the rest of your time. It's bitter. It's bitter. It can't satisfy. So we're going for the sweetness, baby. We're going for that higher taste and developing a taste for what's good for you, you know. And now we're talking about one-on-one -on -one time where I'm loving you and you're loving me and I'm loving you and you're loving me. And that's the end game right there. End of game. Ah, yeah, yeah. So, so we, <laughs> well, wherever, you know, wherever there is a, a light, wherever there is a bright light, there's the darkest shadow. And we don't have to get upset by that anymore. It's just the way the duality is, you know, because we're one on one with love. We're one on one with the light. And we don't condemn the dark. We don't, we don't condemn people who are siding with the dark. That's just temporary, right? The dark comes out of the light. So it's all good. We, we, we just, uh, we just, we'll just put you in a love corner if you come on this love line. And then, uh, and then we'll, we'll say love by if you, if you don't behave yourself. All right? Because we, we're practicing behaving who we really are. And that ain't easy, man. We all, we all are addicted to being frumpy. We all are addicted to complaining. We all are addicted to seeing the dark side, the glass that's half empty, right? That, that's, that's common. There's nothing new news there. There's nothing great about that. We just, we all have kind of bought into that. We've sold our soul to the company store, right? We sold our soul to the devil, man. Right? Now we're just regaining back our kingdom. So we practice this thing, even though it's the hardest thing in the world to, to say something nice to somebody. Even if it's the hardest thing in the world to, 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 to even consider the idea of having a better feeling in the heart, right? It, it is just, you know, it's just what we do. So it's just a cup of tea. If you don't like it, you know, go have some tea somewhere else. <laughs> All right. So filling up our hearts so it's, whoo, it's bursting with love. Thanks for deleting the messages. Yeah, we delete right away now. We don't mess around because there's too many people that are, <laughs> that are trying to lift themselves up. You know what I'm saying? And so we're not going to stop the people who are wanting to go higher from the people who are trying. <laughs> no, I don't. Why? Why no? Boy, I don't play any songs but these ones. <laughs> we, from, hey, that's a compliment, that Metapod. It's Professor Xavier from X-Men. I love that Professor Xavier. That's a compliment. <laughs> we're talking similar, man. Because we're, we're just, but we just banded him, so... <laughs> 
I don't think he likes Xavier. I think he likes that other guy. Anyway, so I'm going to go off and teach some yoga. Thank you, everyone, for helping really, really increase the love vibes as you do, Lulu, all the time, just hanging in the wings. But I know you're not hanging in the wings. You're in the center of the street. You're rowing like crazy. We're all rowing to the shores that are not duality shores. They're oneness shores. They're shores of divine fulfillment. They're shores of happiness. They're shores of unity, right? They're shores where everything bright can come to everyone on whatever level that they're in in this world, even if they're hanging out in the darkest part of the darkest shadow, which gets really dark when the light is really bright, all right? It's all the same to us, baby, because we are one-on-one -on -one with the one beloved. That is our mission. That is our goal. That is our destiny. That is our breath. That is our heartbeat. That is why we come together to be one-on-one -on -one with the love. That means we are giving each other the purest heart, the purest energy, the purest respect, the purest support imaginable. Ha! All right. We will see you soon. Listen. You all about me, friend. I know, Clark. Listen, tomorrow... There will be no Soul Sizzling Sunday at 8 a.m., okay, Clark? There will be no Soul Sizzling Sunday tomorrow because I'm going off to do a Love Force Awakens all day immersion in this with people live, right? So if you live in San Diego area or even Los Angeles area, you can, you can write me at loveforcerevolution at gmail.com and I'll give you direction. This is in Escondido. If somebody is just, uh, Lulu, I don't know where you are these days, but maybe you're so friggin' rad and spontaneous and busting at the seams always. So it wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if you were in the hood and you could make it to Escondido. So you know how to contact me. And that's tomorrow from 8 to 5. So see you back on Monday morning, huh? 7 a.m. Ajaya for Wake the Bleep Up with T.O. The morning show, huh? The light show, the love show. Thank you, everybody. It's been a love blast huh it has been a love blast so come on come on oh okay you're in northern cal all right one day we'll have you in southern cal lulu i'm looking forward to that day but it ain't taking away how much i love you no the love grows stronger when you're when you're further away physically you know what i'm saying so come on everybody let's have let's love blast let's love blast our world come on everyone let's love blast everyone we're the Love Force Revolution.